This video is on in-band versus out-of-band management. There are primarily two ways to manage a network, in and out-of-band. In-band management communications occur through ports on the line modules of the switch, using common communications protocols such as Secure Shell or SNMP. When you use an in-band management connection, management traffic from that connection uses the same network infrastructure as user data. User data uses data plane, which is responsible for moving data from source to destination. Management traffic that uses the data plane is more likely to be affected by traffic congestion and other issues affecting the user network. Out-of-band management communications occur through a dedicated serial or USB console port or through a dedicated networked management port. It operates on a management plane that is separate from the data plane used by the data traffic on the switch and by in-band management traffic. That separation means that out-of-band management can continue to function even during periods of traffic congestion, equipment malfunction, or attacks on the network. In addition, it can provide improved switch security. A properly configured switch can limit management access to the management port only, preventing malicious attempts to gain access through the data ports. Networked out-of-band management typically occurs on a management network that connects multiple switches. It has the added advantage that it can be done from a central location and does not require an individual physical cable from the management station to the console port of each switch.